Welcome back. In this tutorial, we are looking at debugging. We will be tackling this, as with many of our other tutorials, from the JavaScript perspective. The experience will be similar to other languages, although you may need to configure additional components. For other languages, find an extension in the extension marketplace, such as Python, and consult the README documentation, which will include information about the required components. Debugging is a core part of VS Code. You get to debugging by clicking the debugging icon on the far left. To debug an app in VS Code, you need to set up a launch configuration file called launch.json. Currently, I do not have a configuration file, as you can see no configurations in the selection menu near the top bar. VS Code will auto-generate the file for you by clicking on the gear icon at the top of the debug view bar. Choose your debug environment, in our case, Node.js. VS Code has now auto-generated a file for us, launch.json. You can see we have version and then a list of configurations. This list of configurations are the different types of debugging we can do. The three we have are launch, attach, and attach to process. We can create additional configurations by creating an object. And to see the documentation, invoke IntelliSense, which you'll remember is control space. We can go through and look at all of the different options for configuring debugging. VS Code provides us with the stock debugging information. We'll look here at launch, which is a very typical one. If we hover over, we can see the documentation so we can know what's going on here. In our case, we need to change what program is, absolute path to the program. We actually don't have a file named app.js, if you remember, VS Code is trying to auto-generate this for us and made a mistake here. What we'll do here is we'll change this to server.js. Now I can start debugging by, by pressing the play button. You'll notice that the status bar at the bottom of VS Code changed from blue to orange. Orange indicates that we're in debug mode. This app, as we've used before, server.js, is a RESTful API for storing task information. We're going to hit one of the endpoints to retrieve all tasks. The endpoint we will hit is on line 21 through 27. We'll hit the endpoint by using the program curl from the terminal. I'm going to open the integrated terminal in VS Code by typing terminal in the command palette and then choosing create new integrated terminal. Now I'll use the curl command, HTTP. I know my server is running on localhost 3001, and I'll hit the endpoint with slash to do's. Press enter. You can see it returned a list of tasks. Next, let's set a breakpoint so we can see what is going on in our function. We'll set a breakpoint on line 23 by clicking just to the left of the line number. You can see a red breakpoint, just as we'd expect. And now when we invoke the command again, the execution is paused at that breakpoint, just as we'd expect. At the top, you can see the standard debugging features. We can step over, into and out of, restart the program, or stop the program altogether. Let's step into the sort by function. Step over, step over, and step out of. We can hover over variables to see what's inside them. Here to do's, can look at each object. Stepping back and looking at the debug view, you can see on the left, VS Code provides variable information, same to do's object, addition to the closures we're in, and the global variables. You can see the call stack. If you click on each section of this list, it will take you to the execution location and you can see the variables change for each of those so you can see what the values of the variables were. Finally, if we press continue, the program will continue its execution and return our list information. This wraps up the basics of debugging. Thank you for your time.